We greet everyone and we are glad to see you all uh, at this conference. So we are Alex and Oleg and um, we have prepared a presentation of our work. So as you can see, uh, the main subject is uh, development of algorithms for improving currency of search for biomarkers uh, with the results of the uh, computer tomography. Uh, so, next slide, please. Uh, yeah, um, as you can see, uh, the main goal is uh, development of an application uh, for the search for biomarkers limiting the bone orbit uh, as well as analysis of the benefits obtained from the use of augmentation. So to simplify, in our life, people often face uh, the problem of long manufacturing and high cost of the eye implants or an operation for prosthesis of the bones uh, or the orbit. So um, practically this happens before uh, because uh, medical workers take a long time uh, to recognize and detect the uh, sockets and eyeballs. Uh, they damage and uh, other various kinds of uh, deviations. So uh, the process of recognition and detection uh, can be automated, uh, thus reduce the amount of money and time costs. And our work uh, has to deal uh, with its science as a part of a big application that automate uh, such processes. So next slide, please. Uh, we are used different technologies such as TensorFlow, Keras, that's uh, a high-level IP for TensorFlow, NumPy, uh, Anaconda environments, <laughs> of course, again, TensorFlow and Python. And also we are using uh, machine learning with uh, NVIDIA CUDA, of course. It's speed up um, and machine learning. So uh, first of all, we are preparing images for our neural network. And uh, we're faced with the problem that we don't have enough um, images to train it. So um, uh, preparing images for neural network learning was done through parallel marking of those. And uh, conversation of decom files, images, and so on to GP have been done in advance. As a tool for data marking, we uh, used open source uh, VGT image annotator. Uh, so it is uh, very simply open source and uh, there are no any problems with it. Uh, and it is an application for manual annotation of images uh, with ability to carry out uh, multiple markup. And as a result of uh, marking, we have got files in a CSV or, for example, a JSON format uh, that uh, stores information about coordinates in the front points limiting orbital socket. Uh, so, next slide, please. Uh, as you already know, uh, science initial number of images failed to meet uh, minimal weather. Uh, we decided to use different methods in increasing the number uh, of images for learning, such as augmentation, and it was the uh, best decision, I think. So. Uh, therefore, we, it was decided to create following types of augmentation and mix it together. Uh, so you can see a list of it. Uh, it is, uh, please back again. <laughs> okay, this image shift uh, is based augmentation, um, uh, changing in brightness, uh, and it is also known as bind segmentation. Uh, noise segmentation, uh, like creation of different noises and um, variation of those on whole image and of course, image resolution and image deformation. So you can see examples of uh, types of augmentation now. So it's simply, um, it's simply uh, to understand that uh, the image is uh, simply a matrix. So we can uh, deformate and move it uh, due to mathematical operations with matrix. So next examples. Uh, as you can see, for example, it is deformation and scaling and so on uh, and uh, we're using uh, the mixes of them to improve stability and uh, uh, scalability of the images so next slide please uh, as a result of a neural network learning uh, we get uh, different ways coefficients uh, for each layers and so on and it is uh, uh, those um, ways uh, are used to find uh, different coordinates of uh, biomarkers uh, from the test set and from the training set. 
As a result of processing or as I said, uh, with use of training neural network with and without augmentation, we got a dependency of uh, neural network error from uh, exact echo. So next slide, please. Uh, the slide shows the graphs of learning without using augmentation. As you can see, um, accuracy is about 10 points. And for example, it is uh, 10 pixels on image. And in the next slide, uh, you can see uh, training result with use of augmentation. So you can see that we increase accuracy of model twice uh, to five pixels or five points. So I think that it is a great result uh, with using of augmentation. Um, so uh, in conclusion, uh, in the next slide, uh, we can say that um, set task and the goals for the software were achieved. And uh, it is established that conclusion uh, bears of the biomicroscope net based on biomedical images uh, result and computer tomography with use of neural network segmentation have helped compared to its ordinary learning. So uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, our contacts are presented on the slide below. Uh, we are very glad to take a part in this conference and we're open to cooperation and welcome comments and suggestions. And also we'll get to continue further interaction with you. So any questions? Okay, thank you for the presentation. Questions, okay. Thanks. Yes, uh, I'm here again. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, Oleg for this uh, quite interesting for me presentation, uh, since uh, I'm a little bit uh, familiar with the situation uh, in this uh, field. As, as far as I know, uh, the um, specialists with the images, uh, in fact, are at the uh, leading uh, edge of uh, machine learning. Uh, used in a practical uh, field, uh, this time for uh, X-ray, CT, and uh, similar uh, analysis. Uh, and my question is uh, similar to the one I uh, posted to previous reporters. Uh, you are mentioning here uh, that uh, you are using uh, neural networks. Uh, can you elaborate or tell us what, what type of network, uh, because uh, I have seen that the um, tools you are using is quite impressive. And uh, since you are using NVIDIA, probably you are using uh, GPU instead yep. of CPU, yep. uh, maybe TPU even if you are speaking about TensorFlow. Uh, but uh, can you tell uh, me uh, which uh, types of uh, neural networks you are uh, using? Of course, of course, uh, we use uh, commercial neural networks because uh, they are pretty interesting for image uh, processing. And uh, of course, we are using TensorFlow and Keras to simplify developing of the neural network training. Uh, and of course, we are using um, training with GPU because it is increased the speed of training uh, for four, 10 twice uh, per training. And it's uh, really amazing that we are using uh, CUDA because it speed up a lot of uh, training uh, tries and um, yeah, we are using uh, commercial networks as I already said, uh, CNN, and we use some type of flattened uh, layers in the end to get the coordinates of uh, our bear markers. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I would like to mention that uh, using uh, uh, GPU uh, probably is quite costly, isn't it? Probably yes, uh, but um, we're familiar with the different systems and we uh, tried using uh, CUDA in uh, Linux because uh, Windows is uh, more difficult uh, in this situation. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so of course, and we are using Anaconda because we uh, have different environments with uh, different versions of our libs and uh, it's also give us uh, some accuracy. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. And great success. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the presentation. <laughs>